Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys uh, checking the video out and making some time to spend with me today. And got a real cool video guys today. I want to show you something. Uh, if you guys have seen some of the stuff I've done before, a lot of times I like to take a moment and step back and look at some of the old fishing magazines. So I've got a 1974 uh, edition of a sports of field here and a 1984 old red man magazine here. This is like some serious history for the sport. And I think um, you guys will enjoy some of the stuff in here. We're gonna get into that in today's video. Also guys, real quick, just for a quick reminder about the uh, Solar Bat Cell on my signature series glasses here, the RB2 and 3s. Um, if you get them a pair by the end of December, you can get them at 50% off. So great Christmas present. If you guys are looking for an idea, I'll put the Solar Bat link in the description. You guys can get you a pair of those. I think you'll really like them. Okay guys, here it is. I'm gonna get the camera, turn the camera around here. We're gonna, we're gonna thumb through these two magazines. So let's check it out. Okay guys, here's the, this first one. This is the 1974 Sports Afield magazine here. So let's see what we got in here. That's one of the things you see at cigarette commercials and all these old magazines here that sort of cracks me up. And that's definitely something we, we don't need anymore, don't miss. Old Browning shotgun ad there. I never did get a chance to read. I usually just read bass fishing magazines. I didn't read much of the sports field or the outdoor life when I was growing up there. Got it here. Old Boston Whaler boat there. More rifles here. Look at that air conditioning unit. There you go, old bomber. That was back when bombers were at the top of their games back there. That was like what everybody was using. Jock hitch. A lot of shooting stuff in these sports of Phil. Lots of cigarette ads. Which is just so weird to see. Check that out, man. 1974 Mercury. Look at that, man. Old Repal in 1974. Man, that was the deal. That was my number one lure back in, when I was a kid that, that age in the 1970s. Caught so many fish on those. Look at those rod and reels there, like the seats on them. Look at just the old pistol grips. Virgil Ward, man, Johnson 710. I actually had one of those. Old Virgil. Nova, man, look at that thing. Old Ford Nova. Fly line there. Old Evan Reed trolling motor, little box flasher. Man, look at that, Mitchell. This, this is what I use right here, guys. The Mitchell, actually the Mitchell, my dad used the Mitchell 300. I used the Mitchell 308, which maybe wasn't even around in 1974. I was a little bit later on. That was a good reel. Another cigarette ad. God. More shotguns. Old Zebco there. Look at that. Silver Troll Pro Staff. Who do we got here? Roland Martin, Tom Mann, Billy Westmoreland, David Locke, Glenn Wells, Russell Hall, Ricky Green, Wallace Lee, Johnny Morris right there, Bass Pro Shop owner. <laughs> Look at that, 1974. That's before we even had Bass Pro, I think. Rio Breckenridge, look at that is freaking history right there. Don Butler, man, if you guys, those are all the Bassmaster Classic qualifiers from 74, that's, that's cool. Old Zebco, look at that thing. That that was what the pros used back then. Back when fishing was fishing. Another cigarette ad, that's like number five, isn't it? Old Strand, now they used that stuff back then. Got here a couple different article by Bill Dance. That was back when nobody knew Bill Dance hardly. Look at some of long sloping points, key essentials to bass mastery. I'd like to read that whole article there. Contour maps. See, back then they even did a lot of structure fishing back then. Bouncing a jig and eel down ledges on a bluff can take bass at any level. 
People don't even know what a eel is anymore. Suspended bass. Man, this is way ahead of the, their time, man. I love these sports field. They always talked about bears and stuff like that, like they were out to get everybody. The hunting stuff. I'm not really into the hunting, so I don't... More deer, a little deer, right? little trout stuff there. I like more than anything else on these things. I like seeing the old ads in there. See, that's the one, another reason. God, what is that? Number six smoking ad, number six cigarette ad. Look at the little trolling motor there. Now, this was back, you know, 74. This was cutting edge. People just started putting troll motors on the front of the boat. Prior to that, they had them in the back of the boat. Old big Jim crankbait. Cooler. Uncle Josh pork frogs. Salmon eggs. Craw pat. Look at that. Tell me how long you'd have to fish that in, in today's public waters to get a bite. Probably never get one in a week. Look at the little razor blade ads there. Stuff, different type of cooking things. Uh, so what is it? Did everybody just like smoke back then? That's number seven smoking ad or cigarette ad. Old life jacket there. That's kind of, I remember that ad right there. That was in all the fishing magazines, whatever that thing is there. Boat buoy. That was back the old army ad before they had the Kevlar helmets. Look at that thing. Virgil Ward. All the fishing electronics you need right there. Fish Hawk 262. Old Shakespeare trolling motor there. Look at that riding lawnmower. The old hip roof tackle boxes. I remember that dude. He was always in every Fred Arbogast ad. Lighter for all the cigarette ads. Liquor or a whiskey ad. Another trolling motor. Look at that man. Chevy pickups back then. I'm not gonna have time to get to the other magazine. This one's pretty long here. Lawnmower there. Little Johnson. Old van. Dodge van. Uh, cigarette ad. What is that number? Eight or is that nine? Jeez. These things have come a long way, haven't they? Another whiskey ad. Alcohol and tobacco all over the place here. Look at that old Bassmaster, 1974 Bassmaster Info. Look at that seminars there. Bass membership, $10 a year. Pin reels, I never did use those. I never thought they looked any good. Remember, the, remember those old weightlifting ads in those magazines like that? Um, this this was in all those outdoor magazines, like the old bodybuilding ads. Some cheaper ads here. I remember back in all these guys. Yeah, I remember stuff like this, like the karate ads. That there always were some these oddball ads in the back of these magazines here. I remember seeing that thing in everywhere. You, you just don't see this stuff anymore. All these ads like this, look at that. North Michigan area. Man, just a bunch of that stuff. Getting to about to the end of it. I remember these canoe trips. My I'm, my dad actually went on one of these up at the uh, Ely, Minnesota, back in the 70s. 
This was a big deal here. Fish Alaska. And finally, old International Scout. So there you have it. And uh, cigarette ad number 10. Okay, guys, there you have it. Sports Afield, uh, 1974, a little bit of past history. I was going to go over the, uh, the the BFL, the FLW magazine, but we'll do that at a later date. Sort of ran over a little bit. But anyway, guys, just a little bit different video. Just hope you guys enjoyed stepping back and looking at the way things were, you know, back when I was in grade school. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk later.